I'm Dan Forrest. One of the things I enjoy the most as your Lieutenant Governor is traveling across our state. As you prepare for your summer travels, here are some great places I recommend you visit. Let's start with Boone in Watauga County. Named after American pioneer Daniel Boone, Boone, North Carolina is home to a bustling college town and some of North Carolina's best places for outdoor pursuits. From driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway to walking along the Mile High Bridge to Linville Peak, Boone is perfect for outdoor enthusiasts. Beaufort in Carteret County. Beaufort is the third oldest town in North Carolina and also the place where the famous pirate Blackbeard ran his ship, the Queen Anne's Revenge, aground. The small town of Beaufort is known for its marine life and research. The downtown area is an eclectic mix of historic homes and savory restaurants. Not far from Beaufort are North Carolina's famous beaches. Edenton, Chuan County. Rich in history, Edenton, North Carolina is one of North Carolina's most iconic small towns. As the old colonial capital of the state of North Carolina, Edenton is home to the famous Edenton Lighthouse and beautiful Edenton Town Harbor. As you walk the streets of this picturesque town, you will marvel at the 18th century architecture that lines the streets, giving it its charming appeal. Tryon in Polk County. Recognized as the friendliest town in the South, Tryon, North Carolina is known for its bed and breakfast, its equestrian heritage, hosting various Olympic trainings, and the third oldest horse show in the United States. Next, let's look at New Bern in Craven County. The small riverfront town of New Bern is one of the most famous places in North Carolina, as it used to be the state capital. This quaint town sits on the Neuse and Trent Rivers and is known for its rich history and vibrant downtown vibes. The lively entertainment and famous eateries that line the streets attract visitors from miles away. Lenore, Caldwell County. Located in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Lenore, North Carolina is known for its urban gardening and close-knit community. Lenore prides itself on its strong community ties from their main street festivals to its neighbors helping neighbors mentality. As you venture throughout the town, you're surrounded by the famous Brushy Mountains. Marion in McDowell County. At the edge of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Marion, North Carolina is the birthplace of the University of North Carolina basketball coach, Roy Williams. Marion's small downtown district is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, as it is the home to the Marion Depot, the oldest depot on the Western Rail. Now let's look at Pinehurst in Moore County. Known for its exquisite landscape design, Pinehurst, North Carolina is a gem in the southern part of the state. A large portion of the Central Village has been named a National Historic Landmark, and included in that is the world-famous Pinehurst Resort, which has been home to the U.S. Open Championships, Ryder Cup, and PGA Championships. Mount Airy in Surrey County. Located in the northwest corner of the state, Mount Airy was the home of Andy Griffith and the inspiration for the fictional town Mayberry from his television show. As you take a walk down Main Street, you are greeted by antique shops and restaurants that line the streets. Mount Airy is also home to some of North Carolina's most well-known wineries and the iconic Pilot Mountain. And finally, Waynesville in Haywood County. Located in the Great Smoky Mountains, Waynesville is home to a lively downtown full of friendly people. As you walk down Main Street, you will be surrounded by beautiful trees and amazed by the breathtaking views of the North Carolina mountains. Waynesville is known for its community activities, such as parades and festivals that showcase this small town's charm. Thanks for traveling and vacationing in North Carolina. According to our State Department of Commerce, tourism is up in all 100 counties of our state. And as you gas up your car for your summer road trips, remember that it was this governor and General Assembly that capped and lowered the state gas tax so that you pay less at the pump when you fill up your car. I'm Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest. Enjoy our great state.